The guidance wheel is, is something which will help support decision making uh, when people are looking at retrofitting traditional buildings. The main advantages or benefit of using something like this will be that you are presented with a holistic view of a house, not just a single measure issue. It, we will never suggest, I mean you can look at three or four measures that you're interested in, but it's pointing to you that there's other measures that are related to it. The guidance wheel is a move away from the idea that there's a, a one-size-fits-all solution. It's against tick box approach to uh, decision making. It's about engaging people with the issues and enabling them to learn about their context and then what might be the best solution for them or for that building in that context. The first thing you do when you open up the wheel, you, you select your context. You decide what type of building you're in, whether it's in a conservation area or a listed building. For instance, this building is a listed grade two building, so we would put that in the wheel and then it tells you what state of repair it is in. So you will look at whether it's in fair condition and good condition or, or there's some issues that might need replacing, so you will put a poor condition. It's useful, particularly when you're, when you're first considering uh, how to retrofit a building or a set of buildings. But it also can be used during the process as a way of checking whether the design uh, aspirations are actually being uh, met in the reality of the building and also afterwards by the user so that they can then reflect what they've done, whether it was done uh, correctly because often when you start working on old buildings you find that things aren't as they appear on the, on the surface. You know, you, you start taking off the plaster from a wall and you find it isn't a brick wall actually, it's, it's got a timber frame in it. In terms of um, who are the users of the wheel, the initially it was aimed to um, Green Deal. It was very much linked to the Green Deal, and and the Green Deal has lots of players. So from the assessor to the specified designer to the provider. So what we're trying to do is focusing the provider because it's who's taking the risk. However, in doing so, we find out that designers and specifiers will probably benefit from using it that uh, architects and other people who may not necessarily be involved in the Green Deal project but are involved in retrofit could use it and homeowners could use them who are very much um, technically minded to start with and if we simplify the language it will be much more broader audience. We are making it as simple as it can be and the point of the wheel is that it's playful and that it shows connections in a, in a lively way and in an obvious way. And that if you want to go deeper into that knowledge and that understanding, you can delve deeper. So if something particularly is of interest, you can click on that connection, you can, you can, you can read about it, and then there's a further click which takes you into uh, the research papers, but it will also eventually take you into the knowledge centre where there'll be case studies. So you can explore in your own way. Um, uh, those issues that are, that are interesting. Having developed the wheel and the knowledge centre to where we are now, we're now starting to engage with other organisations such as CORE to see how we can promote the wheel and the knowledge centre and its use to a much wider audience. Uh, that involves specific training around the use of the wheel, um, but it also importantly involves a training about the issues that are raised um, by the wheel. So I know that CORE is running uh, masterclasses at the moment on ventilation, on fabric first, on a number of other um, approaches which will help inform the public and whether it's homeowners or whether it's assessors or Green Deal providers about the issues that are raised in the guidance wheel and the knowledge centre.